What's up guys? Matt Cole Michaels outside. He's fresh back from the expo, so it should be a great one today. So you guys come along and let's take a look, see what Michael's got. Shot full in there, don't we? Yeah, that one shot full. They don't be partying when you're ready to help. I guarantee you. They have enough work, they won't be able to do much. That's <laughs> much in there. So Vegas was a good time, huh? Vegas was a good time. Saw a bunch of new tools, got a bunch on the way. Uh, of course with TSA and stuff like that, you can you imagine trying to get anything through TSA, but yeah, we, uh, our UPS man's probably gonna hate us for life, but <laughs> we, uh, we plan on a full weekend I'm, I'm expecting Monday or so to get it all in. And I'm gonna say all week is gonna be nothing but just stocking the truck with the new stuff. Shoot, chill. Cause that's, I mean, I ordered a lot of regular tools, but I ordered every new tool that I saw. So we got a lot of new stuff coming. A lot of exciting new stuff. About. Stuff that has never, since it's come out, been redesigned. We've got stuff coming out that's redesigned. So it's, it's gonna be cool. That's gonna be awesome. Well, tell us, at least give us a preview of some of the stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got a new bearing puller that, uh, as a technician, I would I, I would have just said, here, give it to me. I don't even care the, the cost. Just give it to me. And then we've got a, uh, some people's already going to see it. I don't really want to post videos of it until it comes out, but a new ball joint press. You know, the, the ball joint press for years has been the same design forever since it's come out that I know of. We've got one coming out that is just amazing. I think I've seen a leaked picture of that thing. Yeah, what'd you think about that? It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. So I've got several videos of it working and stuff like that. I'm gonna be interested to see how the pins hold up, you know, where it's got the pins in the center of it. Yeah, well, um, they did several demonstrations of it. And, you know, I was skeptical at first by the design, but to see the amount of torque it actually takes I don't think you're gonna have any pressure really? problem. Well, I guess so because there's it's a long the leverage. Yeah. You see, and on. the thing about that thing is the old one puts all the pressure right there at where you're taking it out, or, or the screw. Yeah. This one don't. This one, this one's more of a distributed weight. So if you saw it, you can kind of yeah, picture I how it. Yeah, I seen it. I was like, wow, that that yeah, was pretty. Cool. But the pins is what got me. But now that you mention that. I can see, yeah, the way they the way the yeah, the way it's multiplied at certain spots and not at others is cool. is the key point. And uh, so that that was a new thing. I did find the short size socks, uh, and I actually got a catalog from uh, Redback instead of just a little flyer. So yeah. got the short socks coming, got insoles coming. Um, they had new welders. Um, that was cool. Uh, I've got a new thread uh, chaser that's coming in that completely does away with the tap die set. It's automatically adjusting uh, to do outside, really? inside. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing that's on that awesome. one. So, you know, and, and the price point of it, it's a little high, but it does away with your entire tap and die set. So, you know, that, that was cool. Um, I was saying they had a lot of new colors. We do. We got new colors. Uh, got some gold ratchets coming, 40th anniversary. Um, so that's that's gonna be cool. They got some in the making of a different color ratchet. Um, I don't know if anybody's posted that yet or not, but it they're just wanting feedback on it yet. Uh, so that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, everything new that was at the show, I got um, headed this way. So. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. One thing new that's not, I think I'll come up here just for you. Let me see where they're at. They're not out yet, but I went ahead and got them. For example, because you gotta have something. So it looks like nothing, right? Can you picture what that would go on? Hmm. Look at that. Here, each grab one and see if you can figure out what we're fixing to do with them. Only get middle line. I don't know either. Brain teaser, right? Let's see. Just something, Michael. Let's see. Let's see if I got one. Let me have. Uh, let me see. 
So, you know, we got the magnetizer. This one actually screws on, so it's actually going to be yours. No, it's going to be this one. Yeah, one of them. It's going to slide on it. Well. I'll set to hold the screw in there? Yeah, it's going to slide on it and hold the screw. And it'll be more than just a regular magnetize. So you can slide it up, and it'll hold the screw. You can go down and put it in, and then you can slide it back when you don't want it to be magnetized. So it stays on the screwdriver and completely does away the need to try to magnetize and demagnetize. That one fits a lot better, but you slide it up. Slide down. So it's the small stuff, right? So I have a lot of dealership techs that have to get in tight spots, and they say the screw keeps falling. Now they're not out yet, but they're. If those were lit up, that would be. Yeah. That would be the bomb. You take them. I don't have to get a set of them anyway. That's pretty good right there. <laughs> so, Love some leaf stuff. We're right. sold. I'm dropping screws, and when they hit the floor, yeah, they're yeah, lost. Find them. Yeah, they're lost. We, we're advancing tools. It's like I said, never, never even tried to be advanced. Somebody made the first one, and we were just okay with it. There you go. And now that you see the new one, post. You're gonna see a few videos. If you're on the Facebook page, you got to see our new scanner that me and uh, Clay is always talking about. You get to see it actually sitting in a fish tank, getting water sprayed directly on it for the text that's afraid of getting moisture or, you know, you know, well, I can't go outside with it because it's sprinkling or something. This one is rain resistant. It's not completely waterproof, so you don't want to go out in your lake and try to diagnose anything, but <laughs> you're good in the rain. So <laughs> we also have... Uh, a charger that's the same way that they had in a fish tank actually charging a battery wow. getting rained on and I'm not talking about like a sprinkle here or there it was a steadily miss so if you got to see that that was that was kind that's of cool. cool toolboxes um, got four coming you can actually now get it to where the badging is all color coded with the trim so instead of having a completely blacked out box green trim and then this oddly placed chrome badge uh -huh you'll have that green badge on there. So that's kind of cool that's as well. That's a good idea that they're doing that. So that, that was kind of cool. And a lot of other cool stuff, but we don't need to do it all on the one video. We need to spread it out. But <laughs> spread it around a little bit. That's right. But you know, it and the way they're doing it, I've got all the new stuff that was out at the time ordered. Mm -hmm. And then the stuff that's going to be releasing, I'll be picking up throughout the year. So that's we'll have it all. And I, I think we're really advancing pretty pretty quickly so good deal well what y'all found back here y'all awful quiet well, i looking at that driver upgrading mm -hmm. that's what you was looking for play well i got a confession i had to have a set so i had to buy that's a set. fine i'm gonna put it on the truck anyway but that is what i wanted i think i ended up buying a five piece set's what it was but i we had to have one so hey that happens Never needed them before, and then there you go. That's all Wally's fault, anyway. While well, I had to have one, mm -hmm. it is. Dude, I gotta confess. You like them, Michael? I gotta confess. I like them a whole lot. A whole lot. A whole, whole lot. My wife likes mine for me. You ain't got to wear yours yet? Just a couple of times. She likes to steal them and my snap on sock. <laughs> Heard that. Hoping to upgrade on my bits. You got to be like me. That's right. She did the same thing. Traded the same set in for the same set he's trading for. Mm -hmm. he, he must have watched that video. He must have. Can't nobody be like me, though. I mean, you, think, you remember that old commercial um, where they used to have the Michael Jordan commercials? I want to be like Mike. Mm. Like Mike, if I could be like Mike. I want to be like Mike. Like Mike, if I could be like Mike. Be like Mike. Mm -hmm. You think Wally walks around saying, I want to be like Bill? Yep. I want to be like Bill. Mm -mm -mm. What do you think about that? I don't know. He's going to have to work hard. I don't think he can pull it off. Do you? I don't either. You saying he ain't mount, mount enough? Not yet. I mean, my God, we got to walk behind him and lock the doors and stuff in the afternoon. <laughs> I heard that. Pick up tools out of the floor. Like babysitting that. Yep. Wally yep. bought something. Wally bought something. 
I bought something. Michael sold some stuff, so he's happy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, y'all hang in there, and we'll uh, we'll show you. What we got. Y'all seen Michael had a lot of goodies on the truck today. I got some stuff ordered, and um, be looking for all the new stuff he got from Vegas. So that should be pretty cool. So let's run over what we got real quick, and I'll show you. Oh, wild man, Wally got the 34 piece quick change bit set by Matco. The part number is MQC34C. So you guys have seen this, we did a video on it. Bill got the same set of a couple of months ago. So, you know, Wally wants to be like the like Traded in his exact same set for the exact same set. So he must have watched the video. Hopefully he subscribed since it didn't cost him anything. And while Bill got a air hammer bit, that part number is a MC988A. And this is perfect for keeping Wally in line. That's why Bill bought it. We'll do a video on that pretty soon. You guys will get to see it, you'll like it. But anyway, uh, I got another pair of the Matco socks. I like them. Um, I wasn't sure I would. I was afraid they'd be a little hot, but we've had some cold in the morning days, hot in the middle of the days, and cold in the evening days, and I like them. They're soft. They seem to do great. We'll see how well they hold up, and I'll let you guys know, but they're $8.33 a pair. The snap-on socks are like five bucks. I love the snap-on socks, so I think this makes four pair of these I got. So we'll see how well they long, how long they last, and uh, go from there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. Don't cost you not one single dime. That way, you always see the latest, greatest junk that we waste our money on. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all have a great weekend. We'll catch you next time. I've actually got a video of us walking on the floor. So Monday was the first day Expo opened that I was actually able to go on the floor. And about mm, four hours, two hours in between there, we were doing nothing but video. So... I, the reason it's such a big jump from two to four, actual shooting time was probably about two, but you know, you'd, you'd start shooting a video and, and then you'd stop and want to talk to them. You'd cut the video off and want to talk to them, you know, what else is coming out new or, mm -hmm. you know, what else? So it, it, between two and four hours, we were doing nothing but the videos. So I'm new at the editing, so I'm having to learn all that, but trying to get it all because, you know, you can't just walk the whole floor. Oh, yeah. You, know, you got to yeah. cut it off, cut it on, cut it off, cut it on. Because there was some stuff that Mako says, you know, do not video this yet because we're strictly, you know, trying to prototype it and stuff like that. So it, it was it was good.